Well guys, that September Nintendo Direct has finally come and gone, and I gotta say, that <laughs> certainly was a Nintendo Direct. Like, uh, I don't know, I mean, we're gonna talk about it here in this video, but I gotta say, there wasn't really anything inside of this Nintendo Direct that, like, blew my mind, like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening, it made me jump out of my seat and go insane or anything, and I feel like this was a very standard Nintendo Direct that was kind of to be expected around this time, and I feel like... Most people seem to have the similar like reaction to this where like I've looked on Twitter, I've asked people and I've seen that most people seem to agree that this was a very kind of just a okay direct like not that good like most like I'd personally give this like a 6 out of 10 if I'm being honest with you guys. Most people I'm seeing like C tier, some people saying like 6 or 7s. I guess like you know if you're a really big Paper Mario Thousand Year Door fan then this might be like a really good direct for you in terms of that because that was one of the surprises that they had here at the end of the direct where we're actually getting the paper mario game remade or like remastered for the switch which does look really cool but we're gonna get to talking about like how a lot of this direct pretty much didn't really have anything insane because while paper mario thousand year door remake is really cool it is still also something that was rumored and it is just something that is a remake of an older game from the gamecube now most of this Nintendo Direct was honestly just updates to existing games that we already knew about or games with like DLC and things like that. Like we got to see here some stuff with Splatoon 3 and its DLC side order which we knew was going to be coming and now we have like a release time frame too that it's going to be coming out in the spring of 2024. But once again this is just a DLC that was announced way back earlier in the year and we're finally getting just some gameplay about it, what it's going to be like and how it's going to work. So. Yeah, I mean, it's a good reveal for Splatoon fans, obviously, because it does look like it's going to be a pretty big DLC with lots of stuff to it, but it is, once again, just an update to a game that we already know about. In fact, if I asked you guys how many brand new games were shown inside of this Nintendo Direct that weren't like ports or remakes or remasters of older games, what do you guys think the answer would be? Because usually Nintendo Directs have, I would say, like around three to five just completely brand new games that are brand new that you haven't heard about before that are made for the Nintendo Switch and aren't like actual games that you've played before, but actual like brand new experiences for the system. So, how many do you think we got inside of this Nintendo Direct? Like, three, four, two? Well, the answer is actually zero. That's right, not a single brand new Nintendo Switch game was announced inside of this Direct that we didn't already know about, or it isn't like a port or a remake or a remaster. There hasn't been a single new experience Nintendo Switch game that wasn't already previously announced that they showed inside of this Direct. Honestly, if we're talking about brand new experiences, the best looking like brand new Switch game that they showed off inside of this Nintendo Direct was honestly the Princess Peach Showtime game, which is going to be a brand new game starring Princess Peach, and they actually showed some pretty cool things about this game. We actually got to see kind of what the premise of the game is going to be like, what some of the levels are going to be, but also some look at like the gameplay and how Princess Peach is basically going to have like these different characters who are going to help her with like this ribbon who can allow her to be able to transform into these cool different costumes that give her different abilities abilities like having this uh, sword fighter peach that you're gonna have where you can actually like be able to slash different things with your sword and stuff and that's really cool but once again this was not a brand new game that we didn't know about that was shown for the first time for some reason they actually revealed this in the last nintendo direct in june and they barely showed any gameplay of it like when they showed it for the first time so i honestly think it would have been better if they just like didn't show it in the june nintendo direct and then had this grand reveal for this game inside of this direct because they definitely had more considerable like sh stuff that they showed us inside of the presentation today so it would have been nice to have like this as a brand new reveal and seeing all of these costumes and everything like a lot of Princess Peach fans and everybody would have just seemed really more excited for it but because we already knew about the Peach game this just feels like an update that we're getting to it so it looks good and all but this is honestly the best like new experience game that they showed off inside of this Nintendo Direct. And of course, the leaks were real as well. As you guys remember, I did talk about the most credible Nintendo leaker talking about how there was going to be some type of Donkey Kong content inside of this Direct. And then it later turned out it was going to be something with Mario vs. Donkey Kong, which was obviously disappointing because a lot of people were hoping that it was actually going to be something like a brand new 3D Donkey Kong game or like a 2D side-scrolling Donkey Kong game. But no, it's in fact just going to be a Mario vs. Donkey Kong game. And we were like, okay, well, if it's going to be a new one, that's going to be cool too. Turns out it's actually not even that. This is just a remake of an older Mario vs. Donkey Kong game, but now with HD graphics and on the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, even that was a little bit disappointing for people as well. 
And then the F-Zero leaks were real as well. We heard that there was going to be something F-Zero related inside of this Direct. And then it later became rumored that it was going to be something F-Zero 99, which was exactly spot on. As yeah, I mean, a lot of people were hoping that we were actually going to get like a brand new F-Zero game. Or potentially even just like a remake or a remaster of like the GameCube game being F-Zero GX that a lot of people love. But no, we didn't get either of those. We're just getting... F-099, which does look cool. I mean, it looks fun because you're going to be doing like this battle royale race where you're going to be racing against 99 other people with having eliminations and deaths and stuff, which is pretty cool. But it still d definitely isn't like that new F-0 content that people were hoping for. So it is a little bit disappointing as well. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all we have in terms of F-0. So I don't know if you've been hoping for something F-0 related after 20 years. Are you happy with this? Are you a little bit disappointed? I'm not like a huge F-0 fan, but I do think that this is pretty cool as well. But definitely let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments down below. And so honestly, if this Nintendo Direct wasn't enough evidence to you that a brand new Nintendo Switch or a new console is going to be coming out sometime next year, I don't know what is because this is the easiest thing for me to see that like, yeah, they didn't show a single brand new game that wasn't already previously announced in terms of like a new Switch experience. Everything that they showed was just a remake or a port or a remaster or something like that. We are definitely in like the Nintendo Switch's like twilight years where it's pretty much at the end of its life now. They're kind of just squeezing out these remakes and remasters that they can pretty easily but we're pretty much done with like the brand new interactive crazy ambitious experiences pretty much after Mario Wonder I would say where or I guess the Princess Peach game because that's pretty cool too but I'm not expecting any more like really big like new experiences on the Switch the current one after this Princess Peach game comes out because after Mario Wonder and that it really kind of seems like Nintendo is just gearing up for those types of experiences to now come out on the next system. And so I still can't wrap my head around how some people are going to look at this Nintendo Direct and still tell me with a serious face that the Nintendo Switch is going strong and we're still going to have brand new games coming out till like 2026 and 2027 and that's when they're going to reveal the next system because they said that they were going to support the Switch for 10 years. Like, no, there's just no way because they can still have games come out for the Switch up until 2027 even after the Switch 2 is released. And we've seen that before. Like, there were still Wii games that came out after the Wii U came out. There were still 3DS games that came out after the switch came out so it's going to be like that where they can still support it for 10 years but i don't think that we're not going to see like a brand new nintendo system until 2025 2026 or 2027 we're definitely kind of getting ready for something to be unveiled very soon and yeah we're probably going to be getting a new system next year i would say it's like 95 percent going to happen but yeah, if you guys did enjoy hearing my thoughts about this Nintendo Direct, definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well as I'm going to be having more Nintendo videos talking about the brand new system as well as more Nintendo information as it all comes out. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this Direct. How do you guys feel about it? Was it really amazing for you? Were you kind of like me where you're just like, eh, it was kind of average, not really that good? Definitely be sure to let me know down below. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrows so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros. and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.